Hello and welcome to this mini presentation on how to build a group email list in Gmail. Videos for Yahoo, Hotmail, and AOL will follow. So, when you log into your Gmail account, you come to this default screen, which is your inbox, and you want to start out by going over here to the upper left hand corner to this drop down box and choosing contacts off the list. That will take us to your contact screen where we will be able to put a check mark in front of people's names that we want to now build into a group email list. Simply put that check mark there and then you go up to this little icon that says groups, click the arrow, and we're going to create a new group. We're going to name our group and I'm going to call this Patients1 and the reason for the one is that these email providers like Gmail, Yahoo, AOL, they frown on you sending an email to more than 50 people. They start to look at it as spam at one time and so they can lock you out of your email services for the day if they feel like you're spamming. And so my suggestion to you to prevent that from happening is to limit the number of people you put in each group to 50 or less. Once you have named your group, you click OK, and it'll tell you right here the group patience has been created. You can find it over here on the left. You can see that there's five people. Now, it is possible that you have divisions over here on the left that contain contacts that have not really been filed away to where you could have chosen them from the My Contacts or from the Most Contacted or any other group that you might have had there. And so you might have to click around in these different groups and make sure you get everybody that you want on the list. And so I'm going to go ahead and check these other two that did not make it onto my patient one group that I just created. So I've put a check mark there. I'm going to go up to the group icon and I'm just going to add them by putting a check mark in front of that group name. And then I hit apply. And now you can see that I have seven patients in my group. Now let's say you want to remove somebody from a group. So someone emails you back and says, hey, I don't want to get these emails from you anymore. This is easy. Just go over to your contacts click on the group name to bring up all the people in that group, put a check mark by the people who have requested to be removed from that group, and then you go up to the group icon and uncheck the group that they're a part of, hit apply, and it will remove them. So now we went from seven people in Patients 1 down to two people who were very happy to still receive email from us. You can come in and add new people at any time by simply coming to this little icon and say you just have collected email addresses at a health fair or from a sign up sheet and that's all you have is their name and their email address. It's very easy just to come and add them into this box and once that happens you, add, you just type it in, click add and it automatically adds them into the group. and my was already there which is why it didn't re-add me. Okay, so that will conclude our mini presentation on how to create a group email list. The next video will go into how to use your new group email list. Thanks.